said I don't go where I'm supposed to go. And I don't go. For seven years, I dreamed of going to Ethiopia. Oh, Ethiopia, the birthplace of coffee, the most delicious food, and beautiful, exotic women. <laughs> Madame Contestera, fellow Toastmasters. Finally, I took action. I found a job as an educational consultant. I bought a ticket for January 1st, 2010, and I packed my bags and materials and went to the airport, gave my ticket to the agent. I'm sorry, sir. You're only allowed one checked bag. What? I always bring two checked bags. I'm sorry, sir. This is Ethiopian Airlines. Only one checked bag. <sighs> okay, I'll just pay for it. How much is it? Let's see. It's $40 a kilo. You have 20 kilos. That's... $800. <laughs> what? Are there any flights tomorrow? I'm sorry, sir. Flights are sold out to the end of the month. What? <laughs> I saw my dream crumbling before my eyes. With a heavy heart, I picked up my heavy bags and went to the airport train, got on the subway, got off at Home Day Station, carried my 50 kilos up the steps, and outside it was a blizzard. I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face. And there were no taxis. And the little wheels on my luggage wouldn't work because of the ice and snow. I was having a really, really, really bad day. <laughs> so I started carrying my bags home, but I could only go for 30 seconds before I had to rest. And after 30 minutes, I was still 400 meters from my home. And I put my bags down to rest, and there, next to me, was a lamppost. Kaladun. And it was, had been decorated by some Hongdae art student. It said, don't think, just move. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> I can't even buy a stupid airline ticket. <laughs> and as I bent down to pick up my bags, I saw, wait, there's another letter. T. Can't. There's nothing you can't do. Oh, that's different. <laughs> I looked on the other side. We can fly. Working on a dream. Just move. It made me feel a little bit better. I read it again. Don't think, just move. There's nothing you can't do. We can fly, working on a dream. Just move. It seemed like a special message from the universe sent to this particular place and time and this particular guy, me, <laughs> by special messenger of lamppost. <laughs> So I kept reading it over and over. The snow was coming down. I was turning all white, like a snow monster. People were rushing to work, bumping into me, not saying excuse me. <laughs> I kept reading it over and over. Finally, I had it memorized. And then I started walking home. Don't think, just move. There's nothing you can't do. <laughs> all the way home, I said it. It was like my mantra. <laughs> and when I got home, my mind was calm. And I wrote it down, and then I thought, wow, if there was a manual for how to live your life, and they condensed it, and then they condensed it again, and then they condensed it again, this is it. Everything I need to know how to live my life. Don't think, just move. Of course, we need a plan, but after that, most of my thinking is worrying about the future, regretting the past, and complaining about now. My life's too hard. And there's nothing you can't do. How we love to limit ourselves. I can't do it. It's never been done. I'm not smart enough. I can't speak Korean. I'm not tall enough. Only 178. <laughs> I'm a loser. <laughs> I'm not handsome. 
I'm too old. I missed my chance. We have to stop creating and believing in these limiting thoughts. Working on a dream. In a few words, the purpose of life. Isn't that why we're here? To have a goal and work towards it? Isn't that when we're most productive? Isn't that when we're happiest? And finally, just move. Don't wait seven years to follow your dream like I did. You may lose your chance. Do it. Do it now. Don't wait. Just do it. I went over and picked up the phone. Are there any reservations, cancellations for tomorrow? No. <laughs> Don't think. Just move. Next day. Any cancellations? No. Next day. No. Next day. No. Finally on the fifth day. Are there any cancellations? Yes. And I took it. And I went to Ethiopia. And I had a wonderful experience. I taught Ethiopian teachers about the value of interactive education and group work. And I drank the original, wonderful, and cheap coffee. <laughs> and I, I ate the most delicious, wonderful food every day, three times a day. And I got close to some beautiful, exotic Ethiopian people. <laughs> knows what would have happened if I hadn't seen that message. Maybe I'm the only person who's ever had their life saved by that post. <laughs> Friends, how about you? Are you down? Disappointed in your life? Don't know what to do? Where to go? Have your dreams crumbled? Cheer up. Look around. Pay attention. You may get an inspiration from the star. You may get a message from the moon. You may get a message from a smile or a song or a street sign or a lamppost, <laughs> or a Toastmasters presentation. But until you do, I invite you to share my revelation and repeat after me. Don't think. Don't think. Just, move. Just move. There's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can do. We can fly. We can fly. Working on a dream. Working on a dream. Just move. Just move. Don't think. Just move. There's nothing you can't do. Working.